come to the bedroom, aka the old office, we need to just uh, clean this place up a little bit. It's kind of just a mess of everything coming together from the office to my bedroom. Now I'm living kind of out of the clothing chair right here and some baskets, but then also still living out of the dresser and the closet in the other room, which has been fine, but it's just a little overwhelming when I don't know where all of my stuff is. So we just need to get this room a little bit under control. It's really not that bad. The other room, is terrible and I don't have the mental space for that today I feel like I can tackle at least some of this today so let's let's do that all right here's the deal Rooney I think a lot of this is like electronics and stuff obviously not here this is not electronics but we're gonna start here because this cart is overflowing with items everything just fell I don't even want to look it's fine but like I have a bookshelf downstairs that we recently well yeah recently put up so like this whole shelf can basically get clear <laughs> if you're an ADHD girly <laughs> like myself <laughs> baby girl how many uh, how many organizers do we need and this is just three on this shelf okay let's have a funny together like this has not been used at all this actually might be a good thing see here we go look at me this actually might be a great thing I might use this and so it begins. Let's let's see how much we wrote in it, okay? Oh, there's one. Oh, we did decently. We ended the year well. We ended 2022 well. I really actually just like these a lot for the stars and stuff on them. Pretty sure my sister got me this one just because of the cover. This one is actually a really good one. I just need to get back into setting goals. Last year, just everything fell apart. I, I Everything just kind of fell apart in order to come together. So this year we'll get back to setting goals because I need to bet on myself again because I am the best. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. Okay, let's go through this shelf. I'll shut up now. I know in my last video, some people talked about getting rid of books and it's really difficult. I also struggle with getting rid of books, especially ones that are on my to be read list, which are quite a bit, but I will keep all of those things. <gasps> Where'd you go? Oh, that kind of fell into a good angle for this bottom shelf. <laughs> That's funny. I wish I could say these are the only like scentsy scents that I have. They're not. I have a whole basket in the medicine cabinet that I'll go through. I think this one is old. I didn't bring a trash bag up, dang it. This one's one of my favorites. I'll keep these two. I love candles though. Um, I burn candles a lot in the house. So I do tend to keep a lot of the candles that I have until they are like dead dead. So I don't know, that might be a problem. All right, so I think this is really all that's gonna stay in this basket. I need to go through this top part. This is stuff that I'm keeping, but I just have to find a place for it like these oh I guess these can go here actually huh perfect and I need to grab a trash bag like an actual trash bag so this is my trash pile can you grab me a trash bag please I interrupted a fortnight session I guess I'm gonna donate this one actually just because I think that Somebody else could benefit from it. I read it. I don't have a purpose for it anymore, I guess. I also might donate this book because I actually hated it. I got 
maybe three chapters in and I actually really did not enjoy it very much. It has some good recipes in it, but haven't used the recipes in the two years I've had this book. And I think if I want the recipes, I can just go find them online. So I think donating this is going to be the best bet. See, I said I was going to keep all of the books. Look at me go, guys. I am, however, going to keep the financial bill organizer because that's one of my goals this year is to get uh, way on top of my finances um because your girl's struggling and then my goals so that I can actually maybe put those like do you see how I have a little shelf right there I think I might put those on my shelf so I actually use them am I keeping all of you have you used this at all in the last year no are you going to no because if you have a question you're just going to google this also you already know majority of that stuff good job I will keep these, I will keep these, and this. Okay, so that significantly went down. Perfect. Those will go downstairs in the bookshelf, though. God. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. Mm. It's this time. Two years of moving that little guy around. This should actually be super simple, so let's do this one real quick. So that's the shelf so far. Obviously, I cleared off a lot of room for other things, and that makes me extremely happy. I don't want to work on this yet. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go there yet. So let's go... Uh, sure, I guess we'll start here. I don't know. I also just want to say thank you to you guys because you taught me a lot um, in the last video that I posted and I honestly can't express how thankful I am for a lot of the advice that you guys gave me. Just a lot of the things that like stuck with me were if you haven't used it in a year, you know, toss it. If you don't, oh, what was the one that somebody said? If you don't use it, lose it. Um, and the other thing that really helped me too was a lot of people were like, well, just think of the young mothers or the other mothers who could use it, especially with like the baby clothes and stuff like that. Like that really was just kind of like a light bulb, like, oh my God, yeah, absolutely. And just kind of thinking about it like this sign, okay? I bought this at Walmart, I don't know how many years ago, when I was decorating the house that I lived in shortly after my son's father had took his own life. I was trying to make the place my own because we had lived there together and it just felt very much so his and ours and I needed it to just feel like mine. I bought them and they were super cheap and they were quotes that really resonated with me and helped me through a really difficult time. And I think I've been holding on to these signs because it reminds me of how strong I was to get through that period in my life. Um, I do have a whole video on what happened in that relationship. If you want to check that out, I will link it in the cards above. But I, I think that I am afraid to forget my past. And it's not really like I'm living, I don't feel like I'm living in the past. I just feel like I've grown so much from who I was then. I don't want to forget like how strong she was and how bold she was for what she went through and how she turned me into the person I am today. And I think I do that a lot by holding on to items that bring it back a memory of like, oh, I bought this when I was really struggling and I needed my space to be mine, you know? But in reality, I have so many vivid memories of that house and how I decorated it for myself and how I made it my own and how I turned the trauma into a beautiful, loving memory for me and my son. I don't really have memories of the negative things that happened in that house because I just surrounded it with so much love and keeping a sign isn't going to make that go away. So I wanna say thank you to you guys for teaching me that um, in the last video. It was not something I ever expected um, to come out of that and I just really greatly appreciate it. And before I start crying, we're gonna keep going because I cried enough in the last few videos that we've had. So this is getting donated and I hope that a single mama, a struggling mama, somebody who really needs it, finds it. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.
room spray and I just sprayed it all over me. <laughs> We did a little bonus area. All right, my loves, that is where I'm going to stop for the day. Um, honestly, that's just kind of all the energy that I have uh, for today, so I'm just not going to overexpend myself. Um, there's no reason for me to get this entire room done today. However, we got the whole shelf done. We did the bonus shelf in there. I got that organized. Um, I did organize the clothes chair, so we got far today, and I made my bed, so those are all really good things and we will resume I believe in a couple of days but like two seconds for you so I'll see you back here soon I'm gonna be so honest with you right now I don't even want to I literally have no drive or will in my body to do anything tonight however we have goals and we are gonna do this I have decided to compromise with myself a little bit I think the thing that is stomping me right now stomping stumping that is stumping me right now that I keep focusing on is getting the desk all cleared out, getting the area where the dresser needs to go all cleared out, and moving the dresser in here. It doesn't all have to happen in that order at one time. I have time. So what I think I need to focus on right now is the area that is my biggest pain point in this room, and that is this little cluster over here at the foot of my bed. That's really about it right now. That's the part that drives me nuts the most, and then I can get that little area cleaned out over there as well. So I'm going to just take the desk off of my radar for a second because that can wait. If you need that reminder today, just remember it can wait. <laughs> so I just let's... Huh. Let's just do it, because if I keep talking, I'm never going to get to it. <laughs> this is everything that was in that little corner. Isn't this bag so cute? This is my travel bag. Uh, obviously, it's got my little travel pillow. I don't travel a whole lot, but I've flown the last two years, and... This little backpack is just like my little comfort guy, so I don't actually have to go through that because it just has a lot of like your flying essentials. So this, more electronics. Hold on a second. I got, oh, this was a terrible idea. There's it. <sighs> See what I mean by electronics? So let's start going through this crap. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is. Does everyone else keep all of their phones? Like, why do I need these? Why do I need the phone boxes? I don't need the phone boxes. Baby, it's not the lie. Remember, you were me. I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work. I try to say something, but there's a word. I try to justify my actions, less reactions. Okay, so this is what we've got going so far. This is what it looks like behind me. These are trash. That is keep, or those are recycle, I guess. That is keep. That can go downstairs on the bookshelves. And then this is all the keep that I have <laughs> from these two little things. This, that's putty from my uh, therapy days when I was a physical therapist assistant and some electrodes. I still use those with my TENS unit. <laughs> 
So that all stays. These are little letters that go on my board right there. Tacks and then some essential oils that are supposed to go in my car, but they're in here. And then a bag. Um, so I think I really actually did a good job. Like with the electronics, I think all the electronics will fit in here now. Besides like the lamp and that light, I really need a new one of those. That one is kind of trash, but we keep it because we're balling on a budget at all times. So we still keep it. <laughs> I mean, so I guess really the only thing that left to do is put it all together and see what I have to figure out where it's going to go and how I'm going to organize this space, right? Right. You guys, this is all that's left. Look at that. I'm gonna put this stuff in here because look at how much room I have on those two bottom shelves. I don't need this. Like, can I get rid of these two things? Those two things have been with me. I had them at my house with my son um, and he didn't want them. So then I took them. So now I'm like, okay, it is a good storage option and I don't really have many good storage options. Do I keep it, take it to the new place, and if I don't need it, then I donate it? So I think that's what I'll do. I won't donate those yet. I just emptied both of those, and I just have a little tiny basket. Ugh, okay, can we just get this part done real quick? Cause I'm tired. Dirty clothes, storage. Downstairs, downstairs. Need to find a place for these things real quick. My lovely box fan, since I don't have a ceiling fan in here, I wanna put this somewhere instead of just like precariously perched on my desk or on the clothes chair. But I can't sleep without the box fan, you know? That's for another video. <laughs> so this is what we got from the room to donate um, so far. I will obviously be keeping this bag and not putting it in the car because there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of room in there. However, the trash bag is thick. So the trash bag goes downstairs and we are going to just take this down now. You're gonna take all of this stuff downstairs and actually put it away where it needs to go instead of setting it somewhere so that it just dies there. So yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 